If you're curious about the long-awaited threequel to Bad Boys and some of the drama surrounding it, look no further. Here's everything you need to know before you sit down to watch some massive explosions and ridiculous action scenes. It just wouldn't be a Bad Boys film if it weren't for the Bad Boys themselves, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. Obviously, both Smith and Lawrence are returning in their franchise roles as detectives Mike Lowry and Marcus Burnett, and they're still using extreme measures to combat some of the worst crime in Miami. If you need a refresher, Will Smith's character, Mike Lowry, is the rich ladies' man of the team, while Lawrence's Marcus Burnett is more the exasperated family man. Together, they're the bad boys of the Miami Police Department. There's one other crucial aspect to the Bad Boys franchise, and that's the irritated and grudgingly respectful Captain Howard. Luckily, Joe Pantoliano will also be returning in Bad Boys for Life. We're guessing that time hasn't changed how fed up he is with our favorite detectives, even if he always ends up having their backs anyway. I have three cops critical. I got kids dying on my streets from souped up X. I do not want these animals taking over my city. We know a bit of the story going into Bad Boys for Life thanks to some official production notes and the trailers released so far. The story focuses on Ammo, an elite squad within the Miami Police Department. Their current target is Armando Armas, a violent young cartel leader. Armas has his crosshairs focused on Detective Lowry, and he has a prior history with our heroes. With Armas on the hunt, Lowry and Burnett are pulled back into the fray, despite the fact that Burnett seems to have his eye on retirement. They start working with Ammo's leader to stop the threat Armas poses. Naturally, Ammo's leader is also a former flame of Detective Lowry's, and he considers her the one that got away. Most of the actors showing up in Bad Boys for Life are new to the franchise, but there's a pretty good mix of up-and-coming actors and well-established ones. The big one joining the cast is Jacob Scipio, who will portray Armando Armas, the film's villain. His character is described as having a vicious, taunting nature, and he has a past connection with our detectives. Paula Nunez, a star of Mexican television and film, is also joining Bad Boys for Life as Mike's ex, a criminal psychologist and the aforementioned head of Ammo. We also know a few actors who will play roles as members of this elite squad. Vanessa Hutchins, Alexander Ludwig, and Charles Melton will all be part of the team. It's a Bad Boys film, so it probably isn't much of a stretch to guess that at least one of them is a secret bad guy. Finally, one interesting wrinkle in the plot description is that Armas targets our heroes under the direction of his mother. We don't know for sure who plays this character, but Kate Del Castillo, who has been cast in an undisclosed role, seems like a good bet. It seems like all the elements for a Bad Boys film are here, but Bad Boys for Life is missing one significant piece, Michael Bay. Instead, the directing duo of Aldil Albare and Bilal Falah are at the helm. They previously directed Black Gangsta and also have signed on to direct Beverly Hills Cop 4. They may not have been the first choices to take on Bad Boys for Life, but they were the ones who managed to get the troubled production to the finish line. Why did it take so long for a third Bad Boys movie to explode onto the screen? Well, the project had to sail some troubled waters. Will Smith reportedly had a sequel in mind since at least 2008, but multiple delays had many people thinking it may never happen at all. The original director was going to be Joe Carnahan, who's helmed big action movies like Smoke and Aces and The A-Team. However, Carnahan apparently clashed with Will Smith about the creative direction of Bad Boys for Life and was subsequently let go from the project. It's unclear what exactly caused the rift, but Carnahan is still credited as a co-writer on the film's screenplay. Considering all the talk in the trailer of this being the last ride for our detective heroes, it seems likely that Bad Boys for Life is the end of their story. However, if they decide to ever truly reboot the Bad Boys franchise, one Hollywood actor has already thrown his name in the ring to take up the reins. Winston Duke, who played M'Baku in Black Panther and starred in Jordan Peele's Us, told the Deadline podcast that he would love to star if they ever rebooted Bad Boys. He also offered Black Panther co-star Daniel Kaluuya as the person he would choose to partner up with if it ever did get off the ground. Considering the timing, it seems unlikely that a Bad Boys reboot will happen anytime soon, but the prospect of Duke and Kaluuya teaming up is a great idea nonetheless. With all the years that have passed since Bad Boys 2, you're probably eager to see some things blow up already. The trailers released so far have pretty much everything you could want. Lowry exasperated at Burnett's antics? Check. I got this. I'ma penetrate this man's soul with my heart. What? Captain Howard swearing a whole bunch? Check. A bunch of people singing Bad Boys by Inner Circle. Oh yes. And of course, the explosions. 
so many explosions. You'll be able to see them all when the film blasts into theaters on January 17th, 2020. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite upcoming movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.